Hey folks, this is Mark at Blues on the Street. Sorry about all the traffic noise here. I'm at the park, uh, getting ready to fly my radar controlled helicopter. In the meantime, I wanted to show you this cool little uh, sign reproduction that I got a while back. Makes a nice little opening shot for my video. Uh, but the purpose of this video, this is an unboxing video, an unboxing video. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unbox this guy here. And this is the Mugig. M-U-G-A-G, Mugig, uh, guitar amplifier, the model M-A-1, right? And if we look over here, we'll see some specs. So, uh, output is 10 watts, 5-inch 8-ohm speaker, powered off of 6 AA batteries, or the included AC adapter. There's your dimensions and weight. Accessories included are the AC adapter, uh, a manual, you also get a three and a half millimeter uh, audio cable and a shoulder strap. Well, that's pretty good. And this is who makes it. Uh, Shenzhen uh, Gator One Technology Company Limited, etc., 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 in China. All right. And I ordered this from Amazon. Uh, if I knew how, I would put the link on here to this. But if you simply Google, if you just go uh, not Google. If you go to Amazon and then search Mugig. Uh, amplifier or guitar amp or MA1 guitar amp, uh, it'll come up. It'll come up. So let's open this up and see what it looks like in your. Uh, you can see it came in a nice little box, pretty sturdy. Uh, if you have porch pirates in your area, though, you're gonna probably want to ask Amazon to uh, put this inside of another box, which they will do at no extra charge, as I recall, because that says right on there that there's a guitar amp in there. So if you got any porch pirates, you might want to have them go ahead and ship that in a in a plane on box. Alright, so let's open it up. I'm gonna put my hat on my head. Alright. Alright, so we'll open her up now. Let's see if I can take out my keys. Use my keys as a tool as I sometimes do. Alright, so there's that. Alright. That. Now I bought this because I just got a fret job done on my on my Stratocaster, and it cost me four hundred and twenty-one dollars, uh, and worth every dang penny because it's a, they're, they're jumbo tall stainless steel frets. Uh, and I don't have any amps right now. I had some, but I sold them. So I bought this because this is fifty-five dollars, folks. This amplifier is fifty-five dollars on Amazon. Fifty-five. Now the one I will buy or would buy is the Roland Microcube, and it's one hundred and sixty. So I thought, well, I'm, while I'm waiting until I can afford a Roland Microcube, I'll go ahead and pick up one of these for 55 bucks. Then I'll have something to play through, and I will, I'll certainly be able to use this in the future. So, all right, so we're open. I'm going to take my cam off my head. All right. All right, so now let's open up this box. Oh, I see some red, uh, orange. I see some color. I see some color in there. Oh, yeah. Hey, this looks like, I was expecting this to be a lot smaller than the Roland Microcube, uh, but it looks like it might be the same darn size. All right, so uh, it's nicely packaged in here. Nicely packaged in there. All right. Home inserts here. Hey, this is already looking pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. And a nice plastic bag here. All right, let's pull this up out of here. Put it back around the ground. Grass. Now inside here we see, inside the box, there's a little cubby hole there and we got our AC adapter there. That's cool. Nicely packaged so the amp will fit right in there snug. There is our instruction manual. Okay. Cool. Nice. Nice. Anything in here? Anything in here? Nope, like in there. Okay, very cool. I like it. I love it so far. Alright, now let's come down here. So it's in a nice plastic bag. Let's get the, change our lighting angle. There we go. There we go. That's what we need. That's what we want. Okay, so there she is. It's pretty cool so far, kids. All right, so let's uh, get her out of the plastic bag here. And uh, lay it out like this. Let's see. You know what? This is uh, Oh, there we go. There's the opening. There's the opening right there. Let's put this back on my head. Camera back on my head. All right. And I'll open this up. $55, folks. Usually the only thing you can get uh, for an electric guitar amplifier for $55 is one of those teeny, teeny, tiny, you know, little Fender uh, 
they sort of are the little tiny replicas of, of uh, vintage Fender amps. They don't sound with crap, in my opinion. The little itty bitty super duper micro uh, ones. Uh, they sound like crap. But this, uh, this is 10 watts. Uh, the roll of microcube is 2.5 watts. So it, it's an extremely well designed and built app, and it performs like way more than 2.5 than watts. And I don't expect this to perform as well, but this is really cool. Now, uh, this is really cool. This, uh, this is like a cool Tolex kind of. It's like a cool sort of a Tolex kind of a deal. It's got a nice grain, if you will, to it. Isn't that cool? There's your handle, which folds away. Hey, I'm looking at this already and seeing some really great design stuff. There's a protection on the corners all the way around. There's your new gig. Look at this cloth, cloth grill cloth. I love it, I love it. All right, let's come up here and take a look, see. All right, so we got a clean, so you push it in, you're getting distortion. And if you uh, pop it back out, you're getting clean tone. Those are your two tones you get. There's your guitar input. Now here's your gain. This is a couple things I really like about this app from the description. Your gain is fully adjustable. See? Whether you're in gain or uh, whether you're in distortion mode or clean mode, the gain is fully adjustable on a knob. I love that. I like the Roland microcube. Then of course you got your bass and your treble here. Bass and treble here. Alright. Your volume, and you got your volume here. Alright. So there you go. So <clears throat> volume combined with gain is gonna tell you how much dirt you're getting. Or how hot your tone's gonna be. And uh, and then this will determine your mode, what type of tone you're going to get overall. And then uh, there's your power switch, obviously, and an indicator light. Okay, now look at the back. Now this video, I'm just uh, doing the unboxing, and then I'll have a companion video uh, posted here, maybe tomorrow, uh, where I'll actually test this out with my Stratocaster. But there's the back side. Now another thing I really love about this is you've got your... Uh, well, there's your, input, uh, your power input for your included AC adapter. But look at this. Uh, you've got an auxiliary input here. And I play along, I play on the street along with backing tracks that have uh, drums and bass, so I, which, are, uh, which I play on a little device. So I can plug my, my backing tracks device in here, have a separate volume control here to determine how loud my uh, backing tracks are going to be compared to the volume of the amp for the guitar. They're, they're separate. It's fantastic. Okay, and then obviously this is your battery compartment here. Look, it's hinged. It doesn't, you know, just snap on. Look at that. Folks, seriously, this is a very well thought out app, in my opinion. Very nicely thought out, very nicely designed, very nicely built. Really. I think this is a... Let go, plastic bag. I think overall, it's pretty darn cool, folks. I think overall, this is really cool. Yeah? I sure do. All right. So there it is. Unboxing of the Mew Gig. I'm thinking that's kind of like short for music gig. But who knows? It's the Mew Gig model MA1 10 watt electric guitar amplifier with one uh, 5 inch 8 ohm speaker, tune tone settings, cleaner distorted. One guitar input, fully adjustable gain, two-tone controls, volume, power switch, and indicator light. All right? All right. I'll be posting some live, uh, not live, I'll be posting some uh, some street performance videos, uh, probably with this little amplifier. I'm going to try it on the street. I'll be doing that probably uh, in a bit. All right, maybe a week or two, maybe a little longer, but uh, I'll get the ball rolling on having some, uh, some street performance videos. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. This is Mark signing off at Blues on the Street with the unboxing of the Chinese-made $55 MuGig MA-1 uh, 10-watt electric guitar amplifier. And my initial impressions are fabulous. We'll see how she sounds in the next video.
All right, brothers and sisters, keep on playing music, because music is love, and love is music. Bye now.